Andy and Paul resurfaced as a two-piece and named themselves OMD. And with only Winston, the tape recorder, as backing, they played their first gigs at the now defunct Eric's Club. And their big break appeared in the form of Factory Records boss and TV presenter, Tony Wilson. They did a demo in a garage, electricity and almost. My ex-wife took a fancy to it, recommended it to me. I agreed, great tune, we rang them up, we'll do a record. We don't never sign people, there's no deals, we just do a record. We did the record, it was very clear that they should be pop stars and that by putting a record out we'd um, get them moving in that direction, which the record did with the help of a wonderful factory star, Peter Savile Sleeve, which was black on, thermographic black on black, so you could hardly read it, but you could just. And uh, we went through negotiations with Phonogram and with Virgin and ended up with Virgin, Dindix, their subsidiary. We sold them the single and we sold them the group. I hope they enjoyed what they bought.